Hey guys, hope you guys had a good day trading today. So the bulls, they came out. Wow. So if you watch the morning session, um, interesting enough, SPY really shot up. Uh, Reddit opening, I mean, they had almost a $2 move up um, the opening hour. However, if you watch the Qs in the NASDAQ, um, it was extremely weak. Almost the equal amount move up that SPY had, the Qs had moved down. Which was quite interesting however if you missed it microsoft had their i guess some sort of a co conference call they had uh and uh, they announced a few different things and their stock absolutely took off they were up at one point about six percent huge move up and when that happened it just absolutely rallied the queues and spy with it so as of right now um we did end up closing a green day um if you look here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven of the last seven trading days, six of those have closed green, uh, which interesting enough, though, during that same time period, you would think we would have a much bigger move, but we're really only up about 4%. So we did come up today. We took out this 452.8 demand. So we currently really realistically next upside target is 456.8. Um, and our next support down is this 447 supply. So we're kind of at an interesting spot here. As you see, we're in this blue um, extreme bull channel here, or sorry, I mean red extreme bull channel here, but we, we're, we're just reaching some pretty overextended levels. So if you zoom out here, we have this blue bull channel that dates all the way back to the March lows here. Uh, and if you look at that, you can see that our resistance for tomorrow sits right around 456.5. We also have a 456.8 supply. So if tomorrow happens to continue our move up, then most likely we are going to see this 456.5 to 456.8 area be our major resistance area. However, if we finally get our supply, which on the daily, we did start a daily DMI down, then most likely we're actually going to look for probably a retest of this 450.5 support area. Um, that'll be about where our daily AEMA is. For this red extreme bull channel up, our support sits right here about 452. So if we break this red support channel here, then most likely our sell off is going to come down to this black support line, which if you see, this is using the May 24th low and the Ju July 10th low. So this is a potential another bull channel that we're in. We have basically three potential bull channels that we're in right now. We're just basically trying to figure out which one we're in. Um, we have basically the red, which is the most extreme, black, which is the next extreme, and then the kind of the broad and blue uh, 2022, or sorry, 2023 uh, up channel. Going over to futures here, we have a similar thing playing out here. So we have the red extreme bull channel. Uh, that support for overnight is 45.70. That's about honestly where I'm targeting on a, a move back down. Um, we do also not have a new daily supply being put in. One thing I am watching for on futures overnight is that if we continue to drop back under 45.83, we likely will get a double top. Uh, and if we get that double top, that could put a new supply in at that 45.84 area, which then will take out our supply at 45.75. So basically where we're at right now is we either put in a new supply take out 45.75 and look for a new demand most likely somewhere in this 45.35 to uh, 45.50 area or we're just going to push and hit that 46.21 supply our blue bull channels resistance is at 46.05 so if we do continue to push up that'll be about where we look for our resistance Going over the cues here, super strong. Same thing, massive red extreme bull channel here. Overall, we basically are at a hard part here because we haven't put a demand in since 465.97, really 466, or sorry, 366, we'll call it. So we haven't put a new demand in here, and now we're pushing up and we're kind of running out of fumes. So we have a 388.5 and a 389.9 supply area to watch. If we continue to push up tomorrow, 
We have a max upside, I really say is 392.3, but really there's 388.6 to 389. Uh, 0.9 area is likely to be a major resistance. We have a similar possibility where we could form a nice double top, come down and test our 383.4 red bull channel support line. If we lose that support, then likely we will come down somewhere in this 378 to 380 area and find a new demand before we then try to push to the 390s. Looking at the VIX, the VIX has been very, very interesting, and we do have VIX expiration tomorrow, so that'll be even more interesting to kind of see how that affects stuff. But overall, you can see we've been, we've been in this extreme down channel here, which kind of correlates with this up channel here on Q SPY um, and the Qs. But if you go over to the VIX, since we did technically break through that, and realistically, the VIX has just been holding in this 13.3 to 13.8 channel or basically sideways channel now for one, two, three, four days. So we've been pretty much magneted intraday to this 13.5 area. And for the last two or three days now, we have been seconds away from putting in a new demand on the VIX daily, but pretty much the last second right before the VIX candle closes at 415, it's dropped just enough to not put that demand in. My expectations remain that we do put a new demand, most likely at 13.33 in tomorrow, push up somewhere in this 14 area, and then it'll take, this, take SPY hopefully back down under 450 realistically. All right, uh, the last little thing is Bitcoin here. I don't know why my chart is not pulled up though, but um, overall we were holding in this, what is going on here? I don't know why it has it on a, oh, this is the wrong Bitcoin chart. That's why I was like, that doesn't make sense. Stop, there we go. I was like, I don't have any of my lines or anything, but you can see we pretty much have been chopping in this um, 29.8 to really it was 31.8. 1k you can push it up to 31.5k now but we have been chopping in this same basically 1000 to 1 1.5 um, k range since june 21st that's a long long time for us to be in the same range not a whole lot of movement uh you have the sec news there that we caused a big spike but Overall, Bitcoin, not a whole lot happening, but it does appear with a closure under the daily 20 EMA that we are going to move down. So it looks like Bitcoin could be coming back down to the 28.3 area.